today's video, I'm going to show you a route combination that beats every single coverage in the game, takes advantage of some really unique alignment, and really does well against um, really any any coverage. It's also going to be helpful for man to man. We're going to show you how to have answers against everything. It's a different type of concept that um, that I really like because there's a route that we haven't really been using from Trip Side in this year that I wanted to highlight in this video as being one of the most effective routes from the trip side information. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day. And we're talking about the trip side in and the Detroit Lions playbook. You can also find this play in the New England Patriots playbook. Uh, I'm gonna show it against a couple different man defenses and a couple different zone defenses, kind of walk you through some of the, how you can use this to just kind of easily work the ball up and down the field on your opponent. And if you want to learn the rest of my trips tied in offense, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon membership for only $10 a month. You're going to get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides. You can cancel that whenever you'd like to, but as soon as you buy it, you'll unlock all of our eBooks and be able to just kind of get a real feel for uh, the offensive side, the defensive side. We just released a brand new defense as well over there. So if you want to check it out, the link to join it is in the description. Patreon.com slash Cody Ballard is the link if you just want to type it into your browser. But we're going to be going over the play PA Shop Post. And this is kind of becoming one of my favorite plays in the game um, because of a couple of the different routes. But there's also a lot that we can do with this play that makes this really, really good. Now, if you don't have a slot apprentice or whatever, I'm going to show you a couple different things you can do. So for that purpose, I'm actually going to come out and play PA Counter Go and I have that PA shot post in my audibles. So what I wanna do with this is we're gonna create a really, really good shallow cross concept. Shallow cross is an air raid uh, concept. It's one of my favorite personal passing concepts year in and year out because it's really easy reads. And the other thing that I like about it is they attack the whole field with one passing play. How are we going to run shallow cross from PA shot post? Well, what we're going to do here is we're going to drag our tight end, and then you have a choice of how you want to do this. Um, what there's a couple different options, and I'm going to give you my first or my my first one. What I like to do uh, is to take this triangle receiver and motion him to the to the left. Um, you could also motion him to the right, and then we're just going to put him on a streak. And what that's going to do is it's going to clear out all the zones. Now, why do I like my receiver Godwin on this wheel? Because it's going to serve a purpose for us. It's going to serve this little switch concept, essentially. And really, if you watch how this pulls, it's going to pull zones out, and it's going to pull zones up. And our primary read is actually the player we want to hit is actually our tight end. Now, if we can't hit him, we're gonna throw that all day long. And that right there, that route has to, absolutely has to be user over the middle of the field. So uh, again, you could motion Scotty Miller and you can motion him all the way out. And, and I wanna show you why. One of the most popular tactics that people will do to try to stop you is they will run double Mabel and they'll put this safety in an inside quarter and they'll put this guy on the outside uh, a cloud flat. If they do that against this defense right here, they're gonna be in a lot of trouble because this little fade, if I pass lead him to the outside, you will see him be able to beat the 30 yard cloud over the top. So now that's something that they have to worry about. Why is that important? Well, it's important because now they have to put a deep half over there. Why would that be important? Well, a deep half is not going to play the post as well as a deep quarter or an inside quarter would play that S post. And that's one of the other reasons why I really love this concept. So now I've got a great clear out fade route to the right. And then I also have this wheel that's going to clear out all the purple zones. And it's going to, if they're most people, the most common adjustment that I get is a double Mabel with two curl flats, and the curl flats are typically gonna be at 10 yard depth. If they run curl flats on me, curl flat zones, and why would they run curl flat zones, you're asking? They run curl flat zones because curl flat zones do a really good job at stopping curl routes and slant routes, which are two very popular routes in this game. 
So therefore, if if you don't if you know anything about wheel routes, these wheel routes will pull this curl flat out of the way and allow me to throw this, and I'm easily getting upfield for 15 to 20 yards a pop. That is the whole premise of the shallow cross concept. Clear out space for your guy to be able to run with the ball after the catch. Now, let's say they run a double Mabel and they use you know seam flats or quarter flats underneath. I'll show you what this looks like as well. And again, um, why why do I like this play? Whoops, I'm sorry, I forgot to. That's for another. That's for a secondary setup that I'm going to show you in just a second. But why do I like this play so much? I like this play so much because it's really easy reads. I'm going to show you some really cool stuff against man to man here in just a second as well. But you see how this concept works. Now, what you'll notice here is a seam flat. Even though it's going to play the drag, you can still throw it for seven yards. And again, they're dropping eight people back into coverage, by the way. So, you know, let's say they're running this, you know, cover four, uh, cover four defense, and they're going to run it stock. And I like that you can quick, you can kind of quick snap this. Like, there's only two adjustments. It's not a lot of setup, but it's a really good play. And what you'll notice here, look at the quarter flat match it. A lot of times the purples will match it. The only one that consistently doesn't is a seam flat. Most people don't use seam flats. I want to show you one other thing about a seam flat real quick while we're talking about it. And that is if I were to run a curl, a curl flat combo like this, watch that curl route on the left. You'll see that 10 yard seam flat will guard it and it's because it's zone dropped. But if it wasn't zone dropped, it wouldn't guard it, okay? The zone drop is really what helps, I think, this coverage, to be honest. But anyways, they have to do so much to stop that tight end drag. Like, they basically have to play. Um, they, they, they basically have to play without zone drops. And that's where our secondary reads and setups really become, I think, very good. So let's say that they play hard flats because they want to stop the tight end drag. The tight end drag has been killing them all game so they want to play hard flats to stop it what you're going to notice if you watch this concept develop you'll see that this wheel route to the right will be open pass lead up and away and as you can see it gets it gets open before the post so that's a read that you have now i honestly don't throw that a ton i'm um, just just being transparent with you i don't throw that route a ton because it's a dangerous read like you want to make sure he's open you can't just blindly throw the wheel like you can in some other formations. But what you want to do is it's a read. Oh, he jumps down there. Okay, we'll throw over there. Okay. If they don't jump down and they follow the wheel, then you have your drag. So it's kind of a simple read. Now, what I, what I also want to really hammer home, though, is let's say, let's say, so like right here, here's some seam flats that don't have zone drops attached to them. And I just want you to watch because now that's going to turn those seam flats if they don't have if they if they aren't running zone drops now this is going to turn this into cover three match so you'll see they'll match him and they'll actually get burned over the top as you can see so you know really the 10 yard zone drop seam flat is the best zone in the game to defend this but it can't really defend it now that's where our other reads come in as well so let's say for example that our opponent is wanting to you know play this coverage and they they they, they basically are kind of they're kind of lurking that drag until they can get it to the hard flat or to something over there what that does is it opens this whole middle deep of the field pass lead inside you're going to aggressive catch that and cut that off and as you can see it's very consistent for beating that play now the best defense honestly for this is a shaded down cover four and then what you want to do is they're going to use her and kind of carry this to the hard flat. And then they've got a curl flat to match the wheel. And then they also have this hard flat for the tight end drag. This is by far, to me, the best defense against it. And it's going to leave them vulnerable. Um, and they're still going to have trouble because now they have to be able to recover back and stop that route that will bit, literally beat every zone in the game. It's very consistent. Now, I also said I wanted to show you why I like this play against man-to-man. -man. I like this play against man-to-man -man because it's going to be every covered shell of man coverage that there is. So let's say, for example, that they're going to run a cover one and they're going to shade underneath. If they shade underneath, this wheel will get over the top 
of his man-to-man -man if there's not a deep half over the top to help. So if they if they do the shaded underneath stuff, that wheel is not going to be there. So now they have to put a deep half from that safety over on that side. So what that does now is they can't really have a purple on the left. Um, and it also leaves them vulnerable because now if you look on the right, we have a fade. Well, if that fade gets over the top of the shaded underneath coverage, that's a potential one play score as well. So now you have to come to the table with two deep halves and then maybe, you know, an underneath route or underneath zone of some type. And now what happens is because we've we've threatened them outside on both of these. And this is why I say I think this is just one of the perfect passing concepts because it attacks all it attacks the field in a in a really unique way. But what you'll also see with this is now the middle is open and you've got your S post. I don't know why I lobbed it, but your S post is gonna be wide open if you don't lob it up and take 20 minutes for the ball to get there. So I'll show you what that looks like. Again, this is a two D pass to stop the fades and the user is is going to still have to use her um the user is still going to have to guard the tight end drag the tight end drag is very consistent against man because he can't be pressed so i just throw it right there nope their user's there okay come back over here and you see that that is cooking them over the top as well this play beats everything in this game it's one of my favorite concepts and it's a great way to be able to have just really good spacing in combination with great routes that are able to attack zone and attack man and attack match coverage. Thanks for watching the video and if you want to learn more about the trips tight end offense or if you just want to get better at Madden 22 um, or if you just want to get better at Madden in general, I would really encourage you to join the Patreon. Everything in there is designed with you in mind. It's designed to help you take your game to the top level and really dive deep and learn the best routes and why they're the best routes and the best coverages and why they're the best coverages and the best adjustments for formations to formations. We've literally broken down how to defend every formation from spread to compression to U-trips to bunch to bunch tight end to tight slots. Any top-notch formation in this game, we walk you through step-by-step step how to defend it and how to completely lock it down. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to learn the rest of the offense or the defenses, all of our guides are available by joining our Patreon. Head on down to the description and click on the link down there. Or if you want to type it in your web browser, it's patreon.com slash Cody Ballard. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you over at the membership.